Hey guys, um, alright, this is going to be another one of those videos where the lights just fluctuates. So, um, skipping all excuses as to why I haven't been doing any videos, you guys all know it's the same reasons. Work, life, tired, lazy. Games. There you go. Uh, I was able to cut and nip like a couple more pieces from Raphael, but uh, I've also made the decision that silver panel lining might not be the best idea for this particular kit. Um, Part of that reason is because I'm getting lazy. Uh, so, I might actually just go ahead and just line it normally with gray. Uh, I was thinking, I was debating black. Um, <clears throat> but definitely, but definitely, I need to get some, before I can move on with some serious painting. Uh, and I'm trying to break down, like, the pieces and trying to figure out where I could, where I could actually apply some paint. Um, like, let's say, gray accents. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely trying to... Um, break down the model kit, try to look at it, um, try to look at it harder to see if there's any parts of the kit where I can add on some gray, but I'm, think, I'm also thinking maybe there already is too much gray, like especially coming from the top part, so like whenever I get a chance to do it, I think about um, the pieces and where the color separation will look good, do I need to add some more, I would say yellow, do I need to add more gray, um, or do I need to add more black? Because there are some black, there are some black on this uh, mobile suit, and those are in the deeper panel lines, not the deeper panel lines, but the deeper uh, um, panels where it's basically it, they're just holes in the armor, very much like uh, you know the GNZ units like Arazo and Gadesa. So just been doing some planning, <clears throat> whenever I get a chance and stuff like that, <clears throat> but I haven't really gotten much to doing it. I'm having a lot of fun with. Uh, uh, oops. I'm having a lot of fun with this thing because if I'm like, hey, this looks like a freaking fortress. You see, like, Serebi 2, like, you see two cannons here and, like, two other. It's like a mobile armor in itself. I don't know. I'm just having a lot of fun with it. Um, but aside from that, you know, work is all this and work is all that. And uh, when, when I get my tip, whenever I get my tip money, you know, that's like, so I get paid. Then the following week, there's tip money. The following week, you get paid. Following the tip money. So, because I've been working basically five or six days a week, which is two or three more days than I used to than I used to work, I basically came up and um, I got the most tip this past week. And I figured I'd treat myself to food, of course. And then I came across this. I went to Toys R Us because I haven't been there in a while, and they completely restocked the Transformers animated figures. Um, uh, they got a lot of the uh, Generations and War for Cybertron, uh, War for Cybertron, Generations and Hunt for Decepticon figures. And I was trying to see if they had any more Predator figures. Disappointed they're not there anymore. Um, partially because there's uh, more movie figures coming out. And then hopefully when the new batch of the Predator figures, maybe they're out already, maybe they're not, but when the new batch of Predator figures comes out, they're going to take it again. But other than that, what really caught my attention was, I remember back then, uh, maybe a couple months ago, I mentioned, maybe I mentioned, that there was a... Uh, Assassin's Creed Altair figure from NECA or Player Select, and uh, I was really hoping that they would release an Ezio, um, Ezio from Assassin's Creed 2. Came to Toys R Us uh, a couple days ago and came across, they finally got him. The Ezio, this one is the one that they called the Ezio Auditore da Firenze uh, figure, basically the, the basic uh, Ezio, uh, the, the entry level, the one you're most used to, you know, the cover art Ezio. And then they have the second one, the Master Assassin, where he's wearing the, um, uh, spoiler alert, I guess, if you haven't already played the game, which is a great game, by the way. Um, if you haven't already noted, uh, if you ha don't already know, it's the, um, Alt they call it the Altair armor. Um, basically, it looks almost identical to this, except it's... It's got a more darker color scheme to it, basically the opposites. You still got your red, you still got your, you know, your blacks and grays, but there's more. It's a more darker overall color scheme. And the reason why I chose this one over the Master Assassin one was because the one of the most defining things about Assassin's Creed 2, I feel, is the fact that he has two blades. Um, but Ezio Master Assassin only came with one, which didn't make sense to me. He had his armored gauntlet, which which is uh, which stays true to the game, but the one thing that uh, 
that's definitely needed there is the dual blades, the dual uh, hidden blades. So I'm gonna get that later. Uh, besides that, there was three of those and only two of these, and so I and then I, I picked the best of these two, paint apps wise, and so I got this. Um, it's not a very poseable figure, but uh, you know it is a NECA player select and more focuses on detail. Um, if you'd like me to review this thing for you guys, let me know. Uh, it's it's awesome and I love it. So anyway, aside from that, I'm still waiting on Sinandra to come in, and after Sinandra comes in, that is the last of my packages for this year. Yeah, that's the last of my packages for this year, not counting Quanta because I'm actually going to go pick it up. I'm talking about, okay, second to last, basically, second to last package of this year, and then when Quanta comes, uh, and I'll have to go get it at San Jose and uh, Tatsuhabi. So, that's that, nothing else happening, so I'm just going to go ahead and start the, uh, uh, the, what, one, two, three, four questions that I got since last week. Um... So this one is from the CH Dubs. Uh, what are your thoughts on airbrushing, and would you consider buying one in the future? I've always considered getting an airbrush. Um, I've done some airbrush researching, but every time I go out and look to do airbrush researching, uh, the results comes out different. I'd like to get my, uh, I'd like to get a, a set, an airbrush set eventually. Shit. <laughs> I'd like to get an airbrush set eventually, but with where I live, it's not. I don't think it's appropriate for airbrushing, um, and also where I live, it's usually more colder than it is warmer, and whenever I do get home, it's usually more colder than it is warmer. Um, so maybe when I you know, get my own place somewhere, or maybe move out to a better place, then I'll consider an airbrushing, uh, an airbrushing set. But I've always liked, I've always liked to do airbrushing. There are a lot of things you can do with airbrushing that you can't do with cans and stuff. And, uh, you know, like, pre-shading and stuff like that. It's, it's awesome. Uh, but I, I don't think I'm, a very, I'm a, at a very appropriate, comfortable level to want to jump into airbrushing yet. I've just barely gotten to using the spray cans. And, you know, some people might think, oh, spray cans just sprayed on. But no, there's actually tricks using spray cans, too. So uh, I like to gradually grow into a different level of the hobby rather than completely making a step in every step. I like to take my time with one level grow into the different aspects of that one level, and then when I feel like I'm comfortable enough to move on to the next one, then I'll do so. Um, Freaky Gundam asks a very confusing question. Um, basically, he's asking, do I plan to do a review on the hybrid Healing Cares Garazzo? Uh, the answer to that is no. Uh, but he said, if yes, do you do share with me what you use for details, and what do you use for detailing on the Garazzo's head? that pattern on his head. Um, since I don't plan to do the review because I'm happy with the Garazzo here and I like the color I like the color of uh, the original Garazzo a lot better anyway because I think Healing Care's colors are too close to um, the Gadessa, uh, I don't plan on getting it. And I'm not too much of a completist but if I really was I'd probably get one. Um, but what I did for the detailing basically was panel lines. Um, yeah, I just used panel line and Gundam marker. It wasn't, there's no secret to that. That's basically it. Um, Hellfire Ifrit asks, what two Gundam tag teams you'd love to see go against each other? Now, I feel this is more appropriate for an actual video poll question, so um, either if Gundam Double O uh, Gundam Review sees this video, I'd probably shoot it to him to ask, since he since he's more prone to doing you know Friday video polls than I would. But uh, you know, I'd I'd ask him to do it. But to answer your question, um, I would like to take the time to elaborate on this. But to keep it simple, just so we all can shut up about it, I think we should put Strike Freedom and Destiny Gundam versus yeah, Strike Freedom and Destiny Gundam versus. Wing Zero, not Wing Zero Custom, but Wing Zero and Double O Riser without Trans Am. Because I think with Trans Am it's just too beast. So, Strike Freedom with Destiny versus uh, Wing Zero and Double O Riser. Yeah, that's, yeah. Alright, now the last question also from the CH Dubs. Where are you currently getting your Gunpla slash Gundam news? Gundam Eclipse forums. That's where. And uh, I know there are other sources. Uh, like, I, like I've mentioned this before, the folks who 
um, provide us with these information within the forums get their sources from elsewhere. So my simple my simple answer to the question is, I get my information from the folks at Gundam Eclipse. If you want to get more detailed into that, you probably want to ask them where they get their resources from. Um, so yeah, those are the questions. Uh, that's about it. This is my day off, so is tomorrow, so I'm actually going to record two or three reviews because there are two or three uh, model kits that I need to review anyway, and um, yeah, I don't plan on going anywhere else. I'm just going to stick stick around and try to do these reviews. Uh, most definitely, you will see a video of Quanta, definitely, out of, out of any of the three that I'm going to review. You guys have been waiting on Quanta, I think, more than... Anything else, like, I brought up Strike Freedom, I brought up Reborns, maybe some of you have been waiting on Reborns, but, and it just got darker again. Um, but Quanta is definitely going to be the one that I have to follow up with, because I, I did the photo shoot, and, you know, I, I said the review was coming soon, so Quanta comes first. Alright, so that's that, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.